Okay, I want to talk about Maria Montessori. Um, on the first side, um, this has nothing to do with software or KDE, but uh, there are some surprising connections. So let me tell you why. Maria Montessori, she lived from um, 1870 to 1952, and the first idea she had was becoming an engineer. So this wasn't possible for a woman at that time. So, so she didn't have a chance to get this education, so she decided to do an education, a medical education, and she actually became the first uh, medical doctor um, in, in, in Italy. So after her medical education, she started to focus on education, and she opened the um, first of her children's house in Rome, um, giving a chance for children which were supposed to not really have a chance. And she was pretty successful with that and um, wrote down her method and um, uh, published that as the Montessori method in 1909. So after working on that and teaching in, in India, she died in 1952 after emigrating to the Netherlands. Nowadays, um, there are thousands of Montessori schools all over the world. So this is one, one of them, which is in my ho hometown, by the way. And uh, they, are, um, they are teaching according to the, to the method, and the method is based on three core principles. The first one, in the words of Maria Montessori, is that the child is the constructor of the adult. So that means um, when educating a child, the adult doesn't have to put anything into the child, but the child has everything already there, and you just have to bring it, bring it, um, uh, bring it uh, to, to, uh, out. The second one is the polarization of attention. We would call that, call that uh, flow or getting into the zone. So that's the state where you are really focused um, on what you, what you do. You do that to, to the best of your abilities and you are very productive and, and get work and learning done. The third one is freedom. That's something where the, the uh, things that basically giving children the freedom to develop, that, that's, that's a much better way than constraining them. And that's the base of, of the education. So these three principles, they um, get together, and some, some practices which um, emerge from that is that there's an open learning environment in Montessori schools, that, that there are no frontal lessons, um, that this environment is prepared, so there's material the children can use to actually um, play around with things and learn from that. Um, there are also mixed age groups, so, so the children can learn from each other, can, learn, um, can, can help each other. There are no grades, uh, there's no mandatory homework, and the cosmic education, what we would call science, is one of the drivers in a broad sense. So if you look at what, how it looks like in a Montessori school, so that's children sitting on the floor using material to um, teach themselves. They also check their results, they, they check uh, the results of others. This guy, he really got carried away, so he crossed some boundaries of, uh, of the floor, and he, he really got something done, and I'm sure he learned a lot there. Other children just get out and uh, do something on the floor, some counting, maybe some history or whatever's happening here. And if you lo look at that, um, it looks surprisingly similar to something like that. <laughs> so, and developer sprints, I think, are happening to basically according to the same rules and principles. So we get immersed there as well. We, we have the freedom to do what we can do best there. And you know these two guys? They founded Google. And you can only understand them because they, they are Montessori kids as well. So their creativity, their curiosity, their dedication, that's something they, they learned at the Montessori school. And there are actually a number of others um, who who also were Montessori kids, like, like Jeff Bezos, the founder of uh, Amazon. He also uh, was at a Montessori school. Daniel Pink um, made the connection there, basically, in his book Drive. So he, was, he is writing about motivation in this book. And what he is saying is that for the tasks we have to do in this century, extrinsic motivation is not good enough. But we need something to create intrinsic motivation. And what you need there is autonomy, mastery, and purpose. And that's something which you get taught at Montessori schools, but what you also use in open source communities. So at the end of her life, uh, Maria Montessori focused on some broader things, and she, she worked on uh, peace. So she was, of the, uh, <clears throat> she was convinced that actually to get peace in the world, um, children are a very essential element. 
So I want to close with, with a citation of Maria Montessori, which is on her, written on her grave. And she says there, I beg the dear all-powerful children to unite with me for the building of peace in man and in the world. So if you are interested in, um, if you have kids or you're interested in education, which is actually pretty compatible with, with what we are doing in open source communities, check out Maria Montessori. Thank you. Thank you, Cornelius.